I'm gonna take it out for the English, but all the way from America. So please, please, please put your hands together. get my tonsils taken out, okay? I had allergic reaction to the anesthesia, I had heart and lung failure, and I died. All the people were like, what the shit? I'm for real. I was on life support for 52 hours, they shut off my heart and lungs. My femoral artery in my leg ripped open, I had uncontrollable bleeding, I caught pneumonia. <laughs> My body suffered as much trauma as getting hit and run over by two semi-trucks, and I was in a coma for nine days. And you nailed that on the head and sounded like my first night after stables. <laughs> when I woke up from my cat nap, they found out that I had four strokes, and yet I was still smarter than Donald Trump. <laughs> At this point, I, uh, I had to relearn how to walk, I had to relearn my right arm, I had to relearn how to talk. Now the first few days of me really relearning how to use my tongue again and starting to talk again, I sounded a lot like someone from Carrie. <laughs> now the thing that was difficult about it is, is there, were, there were cute nurses everywhere, right? Do you know how hard it is to get laid when you're paralyzed? <laughs> What? There's no way. And then 15 minutes later, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Um, I had to use the commode. Would you? Would you wipe my ass for me? <laughs> that have to be like the whole time. You got to be. It's like awkward. So you're like, oh, oh shit. This is nice. I, I gotta get your number after. <laughs> you do this better than my mom. <laughs> so one day, I'm laying in my hospital bed. And one of these uh, young, cute, blonde nurses comes in, a physical therapist, and she goes, you, know, you want to take a shower today? I'm like, oh yes, I haven't taken a shower since I woke up. Let's go, let's do it. I didn't know that she meant, would we like to take a shower, okay? In the right corner, we have a cute occupational therapist, mid-twenties, blonde, blue eyes, great personality, and in the blue corner, we have what appears to be an Auschwitz survivor. <laughs> I have stitches and staples all over my groin. I've lost almost all of my muscle due to atrophy. A lot of my blood. My, I'm, a, I'm about 19, or I am 19 at this point, so just a couple, couple years different, so it's pretty close. And on top of that, it's freezing cold in the bathroom. So I'm really on my A game of physical, like physical peak perfection, right? And so, I just look at her, and her scrub, she's looking at me, the sad look of just a naked man, just broken. And so she just goes, uh, and I go, I, how, how does this work? Do I buy you dinner first? Or we just, <laughs> and recently, I, you know, I've, I've, I've had a lot of friends give great care about me, you know, worry just to make sure I'm okay. And uh, last week I went to four countries inside one week. And um, when I was there, I was actually just leaving Scotland, and a friend from America said, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while, I just want to know how you're doing, you know, how's your heart, what did you think of Scotland? And I tried to find the words to describe Scotland, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's definitely the strangest place I've ever gone to in my life, okay? They don't have summers, the men wear skirts, and their national animal is the unicorn. So I'm trying to figure out, and I just... The only way I can describe it is, if, if Europe was a classroom, Scotland would be the kid in the corner eating glue. <laughs> what would all of Europe look like if 
if it was inside of a classroom. So we have, France is the cool kid that's constantly smoking, but you can never really tell if he's straight or gay. <laughs> Germany is the sketchy kid with a dodgy history that doesn't want to talk about it. Amsterdam's the girl with daddy issues that loves drugs. Does he know Amsterdam's not actually a country? Just let it go, he's an American. Belgium's that nice fat kid that has chocolate spit all over his face. Spain is the loud mouth that's constantly complaining about wanting nap time. Portugal is the foreign exchange student that speaks a language that no one can really understand. <laughs> we have, up next, we have Romania that won't sit down and keeps walking around the classroom. <laughs> Italy is the greasy asshole that has authority problems. <laughs> Greece is the kid that smells that's constantly asking you for lunch money. Switzerland is the rich kid. And sitting next to him, you have Poland who has holes in his shoes. Ukraine sitting just looking out the window and seeing Russia on the playground going. <laughs> Denmark is that boring girl you friend zone. <laughs> and on the other end, you have Sweden, who's that gorgeous tall blonde that's out of your league and you know it, and they know it. <laughs> we have Ireland's that hungover piece of shit in the back of the classroom. <laughs> Most likely wearing sunglasses inside because they hate the sunlight so much. <laughs> and England's that annoying twat that no. steals everyone's stuff and won't give it back. <laughs> now, would you guys like to know this, like the whole kicker, the whole story of me getting my tonsils taken out? Mic drop moments are not appreciated here, so I improvised for you guys. <laughs>